Over the last 37 years, my involvement in community work has unveiled a pressing issue, the pervasive impact of depression on individuals. As societal challenges accelerate, people seem increasingly burdened by this mental health challenge. Recognizing this, I initiated a series of events with a group of women to address this concerning trend. Our gatherings held at venues like the Huntley Park Library and the Bolingbroke Chamber of Commerce aimed to foster open discussions and provide a platform for experts like Dr. Shastri Swaminathan to share insights on depression. I was also actively involved in the event organized in collaboration with ARA to shed light on this critical topic where Dr. Swaminathan offered valuable perspectives and strategies for coping. The overwhelming positive feedback we received underscores the urgency of addressing mental health issues within our community. By continuing to raise awareness and provide support, we strive to create a more empathetic and understanding environment for those grappling with depression. Prepare to embark on a visual journey of our event focused on depression. Join us as we vividly recount the key moments and highlights of this impactful gathering. The satisfaction derived from collaborative teamwork is unparalleled, as demonstrated by this event. While the event itself was a success, it was the dedicated individuals who truly made it shine. Sadia Qadri as the MC and Q&A moderator, Ghazala Zahid and Faiza Abbasi were in the welcome team. Nasli Hussain, the event photographer, captured the memories that we will relive the special moments for years to come. Maria Mahmood made the announcements. Maria, thank you for shedding light on the impactful initiatives of the Amico Social Services Program. Upon entering, guests were met with a warm welcome from the dedicated team. The first 25 minutes were intentionally set aside for socializing to facilitate introductions between attendees and the guest speaker, fostering a sense of community and connection. The gathering provided an opportunity for individuals to engage in meaningful conversations while enjoying a spread of refreshments, including a cup of tea, delectable churros, a variety of mixed nut and savory Indian churwa, creating a welcoming and inviting atmosphere for all attendees to enjoy and interact. As everyone took their seats, it was time to commence the program. Sadia Qadri extended a warm welcome to the attendees on my behalf. Following this, she seamlessly introduced Dr. Swaminathan, our esteemed speaker, whom the crowd eagerly awaited to hear from, setting the stage for an enlightening and engaging session. Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. I'm Sadia Khadri, your Masters of Ceremony, and I'm truly honored to welcome you all today. Your presence here on this lovely Saturday afternoon speaks volumes about your support, and it warms my heart to see so many familiar faces. It is my privilege to stand before you on behalf of Ghazala Alam, our gracious host for this gathering. Ghazala is truly a remarkable individual, embodying the spirit of service and community engagement. A dedicated volunteer and retiree, she wholeheartedly believes in the power of giving back. Her greatest joy comes from nurturing her seven beloved grandchildren, pouring her love and wisdom into the next generation. Beyond her family, she serves as a beacon of compassion in our community. As the chair of the AMCO Social Services Program, she has led numerous initiatives that have profoundly impacted the lives of many. Her vision and leadership exemplify the essence of volunteerism and generosity, inspiring us all to serve one another. It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Swaminathan. Dr. Swaminathan is a retired chair of psychiatry at Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center and currently a clinical professor of psychiatry at the University of Illinois, Chicago. He did his residency at Northwestern University Medical School and has been a physician leader for over 30 years. 
Having served as the president of the Indian American Medical Association, the president of Illinois Psychiatric Society, and the president of the Illinois State Medical Society, just to mention a few. He won numerous awards for excellence in teaching and distinguished services, both at state and national levels. He is currently in the leadership of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, an organization dedicated to eradicating the stigma and improving access to care for people suffering from mental illness. It's time to get some deeper insight from our expert guest. A big round of applause for Dr. Swaminathan. Because uh, what you are doing today and what you did last year it is an incredibly important thing for all civic citizens in this community to do, which is to bring to light topics that we don't usually talk to about. We hear lectures on stroke, on blood pressure, how to avoid this, how to avoid a heart attack, but you're not going to hear much about how to prevent depression or treat depression. During this session, Dr. Swaminathan addressed the critical need to openly address depression despite the prevailing stigma attached to mental health conditions. He emphasized the importance of viewing depression in the same light as physical illnesses such as diabetes or high blood pressure and explored the distinctions between clinical depression and transient feelings of sadness or grief. Additionally, he examined the demographic groups that are more susceptible to depression and discussed how to identify signs and symptoms in ourselves and our loved ones. Dr. Swaminathan provided a detailed analysis of the root causes of depression, the various types of treatment available and other pertinent issues related to this complex mental health condition. His insights offered a deeper understanding of the multifaceted nature of depression and shed light on effective strategies for managing and seeking help for this pervasive mental health challenge. As the event progressed, it was time to transition into the Q&A session. Prior to this, some questions were submitted anonymously in advance. Sadia adeptly moderated the Q&A. Dr. Swaminathan's ability to address our questions with such clarity and depth further exemplified his expertise and dedication to fostering knowledge among the audience. When the event neared its conclusion, Sadia transitioned to the closing segment. She then invited Maria Mahmood to deliver important announcements. As many of our attendees are from neighboring communities, this presents a wonderful opportunity for us to shed light on the impactful initiatives spearheaded by the AMCO Social Services Program under Maria Mahmoud's dedicated leadership. It's with great pleasure that I introduce Maria Mahmoud, co-chair of the AMCO Social Services Program. Today, we have the privilege to learn firsthand about the transformative work and positive impact that Maria and her team are bringing to our community. Assalamu alaikum, thank you for the introduction. I would like to provide an update on the AMCO Social Services Program initiatives, which include the Hunger Prevention Program, the Clothing Drive, Change for Change, Back to School Drive. Our Speech Club and Women's Senior Program is doing phenomenally. And most recently, Seven women of our community drove down to the ICNA Relief Headquarters and donated a $5,000 check on behalf of the Welcome Refugee Initiative. On behalf of the AMCO Social Services Program, we would like to thank you for your generous donations, your time, and your efforts, because without you, none of this would be possible. Dr. Swaminathan, I speak for all of us when I say that your presentation was not just informative, but truly transformative. The impact of your words will resonate with us as we depart today, carrying with us a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Thank you, Dr. Swaminathan, for sharing your time 
expertise and passion with us. Your guidance has left an indelible mark on our minds and hearts. And for that, we are immensely grateful. For the organizing team, each of you has gone above and beyond, treating this event as if it were your own. And for that, I am deeply, deeply grateful. Your collective efforts have been instrumental in shaping the success of the event. And we recognize and appreciate the passion and sincerity you have brought to your roles. Thank you for your hard work, dedication and making this event truly unforgettable. Thank you all.